big liquid stand throughout this entire tournament so far. That ain't changing now. Kadia taking a little peek down through middle. Does spot players coming his way early? This is Liquid's map pick, so they've been graced with this T-side beginning. Heroic leaning heavy down towards this B-bomb site. Four players there, and Kadian solo peaking mid. It's a bit of a matchmaking classic. Fallen gonna line up that heaven smoke, and now the push is coming in. Oh, the double barrel setup denied. They drop a smoke, but there's a Molotov on top, and now you know Liquid are gonna check this spot out. It burns Tess as he dies with his ship. Will that sell the fake? Refresh gets one, shush, pokes his head out, and does take down that one more man on the side. Doesn't know where to look. And it's shush to find the round. That looked very scary for Heroic. Liquid perfectly counter the setup. But if anything, Tess is dying there in the Molotov. That's what I was going to say. Well, you know, maybe even on purpose to a degree, right? Just well, standing in it, taking so a fight. It definitely wasn't on purpose. Look, the smoke doesn't yeah. actually extinguish Ooh. it. And he's fully blind, Messy. so he doesn't know he's burning. Oh, but there. I think it actually helps them out in the long run, as you say, because it means, you know, that bar barrel's molly goes in. You see you get a kill to it, and you go, oh, barrel's is clear. He burnt in the Molotov like a fool yeah. when in reality it was a double setup all along it's one way to be playing with the hearts and minds of liquid right i think this pick is interesting as well for liquid it's a dangerous one it's not a map they frequented they uh, you know how to shake you in back at cologne over nip they they picked it against entropic maybe to test it out right here in europe and go okay how, how good is our overpass and uh, you know they won that game it was close uh, it went it went as it should i guess entropic are a really nice overpass team so uh you know for liquid They've had a bit of uh, time in the officials. They've had a bit of practice. And now they're bringing up against Heroic. Dangerous decision. Will they come to regret it? Naf with the Deagle, otherwise Glocks. Yeah, they should just get oh. minced up. Kadian and Stown running this cr uh, crossfire. And even if any one of them were to fall, you still had Tessa's over towards Long. So three in the toilets. Perfect little, you know, cool to deal with that five-man toilets push. And Heroic, they get that conversion round, 2-0 and now. But here come the guns for Team Liquid. I do get a bit anxious with the overpass pick. Yeah. I, I do think, you know, Heroic are not a team to sleep on here on this I map, right? They just have such a wide They're, map pool as well. Exactly, right? I don't think you would have felt particularly safe leaning anywhere. But overpass, as you say, just because we don't really know where Liquid are at on it out, outside of the Entropic and Nip wins. And, you know, uh, Maniac was saying as well, like, Heroic are very, very knowledgeable in terms of, like, not being afraid to get this info and play around with the rotations. And I think that's very true for this heroic squad. Liquid, not so much. So, Fallen, oh, flashed in in middle. But it shushes MP9, getting the better of him. Yeah, Elijah would love to trade, but he also knows dying here, loses the round immediately, right? That bomb was around the corner, so he had to just take a spray and leave. And Heroic go, fine, you can leave, but we've now got you locked down on the lower portion of the map. No one got out middle. We, we spot connector. Liquid are trapped down on B, and they basically have to commit. There's just too much unknown in going back up into A. And so Heroic, what do they do? They stack that lower site pulling four players into position. Liquid, they've got to fight their way out. Oh, but are they given an escape route? Yeah, they're allowed to dance up over at Khan. Elise needs to be cautious because they're starting to push Monster right wow. as he's looked away. And this might lead to the bomb oh. getting cut loose. Down in the short tunnel, Elige, two players there, they get the better of him, and this round has fallen apart of the seams for Team Liquid. Oh Sweet. dear. Double swung, they just count down, swing together. Heroic and it's, uh, blood, man. Yeah, it's a flawless bonus round. Bear in mind what they came into that with, right? It was a collection of Famuses, MP9s, well now you get out of it with four AKs. You keep five alive. Heroic are in a, a blinder of a spot right now. Yeah, Liquid are getting pressured on all fronts. It's really nice to see from Heroic, right? Never letting off the gas, never giving you room to discuss what you want to do, how you want to approach that round. And even Elige there, he's running to try and trade Naf, who dies in the tunnel. And that's when Tessa sprints back up to him. Just, just no second where Heroic aren't mashing that W key. Trying to get it over with quick. Tessa's got to run back this time. Sees the pistols and dishes out some death. Grim's Tech 9 taps Kadian. That's something. That's a gun for Liquid, and they've got a bit of armor to work with, so Stewie now armed. Can Liquid make anything interesting out of this round?
They would love to. I mean, even keeping Heroic modest, right, after a, uh, a flawless bonus round, you know, you're worried about their money getting out of control. If you can even find three kills here, that can be a win in and of itself. Yeah, stopping AKs from getting saved as well is massive, right? Like, you know, taking guns away is whatever. You're just thinking about money. But these AKs, look at them. Headshot instantaneous for Tessa. There's obviously no helmets here, but it wouldn't change the outcome. And so Liquid would love to take guns out, specifically the AK. Stewie's done that, dropping Stown. One more man on the site, and he knows he's jumping around. Stewie can't find the kill, though. Refresh won't give it away. Tessas comes back from long to try and group with his teammate, not wanting to offer Liquid up a two-on-two. -two. If they took him down there, they could have. But instead, now Liquid have to pick a bomb site and commit as a unit. Oh, the swing from Stewie sees him fall at the hands of Refresh. Grim's going to get another go at it with the AK at least. Can't find the man in the sight. Refresh looking good to start this one. 4-0 for Heroic. And now Rifle's coming back out for Team Liquid. I'm curious if we're going to see the AWP falling. Doesn't buy one. Could have elected to run that with just armor, but instead going for the utility. You've got five rifles. Cadian's bringing his AWP out. I want to shine some light on these AWPers, right? You've got two great, you know, lead AWP figures. Yeah. Uh, on top of that, two phenomenal clutch AWP players, right? I, I think a lot of this for Liquid is going to hinge on getting a big performance out of Fallen and Elyse. So often, that's been the winning recipe for this Liquid squad. When they've looked their best, when they've been at their most dominant, those have been the two showing up. Yeah, on the flip side, it's also nice to see games now where Liquid, you know, don't have a leech popping off and they still find wins. Even think back to that Fnatic game where, you know, in the playoffs when they went triple overtime, a leech had a quiet map on dust. They still picked it up. So it's it's reassuring, but you definitely want all cylinders firing right now in this quarter. Naf, great shot to Shush. Catching him off the barrels, Molotov, nowhere to move but the crosshair of Liquid. And they won't commit. They pull back out a monster. Heroic have a third player now down on B. There's not much I can do about it. Liquid aren't offering up a trade. Smokes are down. Info to be gained for Heroic. But Stown sees nothing. It's all a timing game as Grim could come back down connector. But not yet. Fallen's bringing the bomb through instead. That's even more dangerous. Uh-oh. Ready for this. Fallen considers it. Comes around looking right at the boost but misses the shot. Stewie trying to swing to trade that out. At least brings us back into a three-on-three. Cadian hears the know. footsteps in middle. They don't know about him in the toilets, and the trade doesn't come through. Instead, Grimm's grabbed the bomb and is hightailing it into the A bomb site, but he is very much alone. Going for the truck plant as well. Now, they don't know about this long lurk from Naf, but if he doesn't get here in time, he won't even be able to play around this bomb. Grim needs to hold on to the site oh. and take him once the grave with him is going to help out. That molly on the bomb is actually buying Naf more time. But if they just get on it now, you've got to swing wide from the toilet stairs. The oh, swing, oh. refresh locks in the kill. And Heroic, they go 5-0 and oh up. Wow, dude, that was so close. I guess he was just expecting Naf to, you know, or, or Na, you know, the obvious play is for Naf to commit there and come out through long. He had a Molotov, though. He would have been able to throw it from a fairly safe position. It was that or the gunfight. Obviously, the danger of going for the Molly play there is you don't know whether Refresh has utility. Still a smoke to drop on it, but yeah, close round out of liquid not quite I like that play from Grim though right instead of trying to get that trade which he knew he really couldn't Cadian just backed up and wanted to stall him in the toilets Grim gets past him he gets all the way up into A and at least gets that plant which allows another buy for liquid everything to play with yet again but no more Cadian shows his in con for a second at least backs out safely Baroque's monster setups are something to be terrified of on this CT side, and this round is an example of that. Shush and Refresh set up for it. Very hard to know whether you want to be flashing over the wall, popping it close in front of you, meaning you have to run backwards to a degree, and how you want to combo utility. Quick flash in, Liquid, force a turn. The second one's the one that works, but Refresh was anti the whole time. Shush trades, and he doesn't get out alive. Three on two for Liquid. They almost reset, but then they go right back in for more. Oh, that's the bomb, though. Oh, no one else was mites. there. Yeah, that, that does look like one of those moments where, you know, two conflicting decisions come through. They're able to get the bomb, but they've not made it easy for themselves, and this is falling apart now. Naf is throwing into a 1v2. 
And he's dealt with by Stown. You know, if you want to look at Heroic and who's been looking good there, it has been this trifecta of refresh, Tessas and Stown. And the fact that these guys are all giving us heat right out of the gate might be a bit of a problem. And you kind of contrast that to the slow starts out of some of the stuff. Take them down. That seemed to be what Heroic are reading into as well. They start with three on the A site. Liquid are heading lower. Oh yeah, Grimm's going fast through middle. He never extinguished the molly, and so Cadium wasn't ready for someone to be so deep. It's a nice idea when he's only got this Mac 10 in play, but now that long push has secured the mid control. And at this point, these two heroic players in the B site know it's a B place down. Holds on, he does what he can, and he's got Shush here backing him up every step of the way. Stewie 2K in a one on four is gonna get silenced. And so it's still flawless for Heroic, 7-0. and oh. Yeah. Hey, they've won a Pro League online before. They've been there, they've done that, and now they're looking for the T-shirt as well. The biggest threat to Liquid so far, perhaps, especially considering Gambit, you know, already got knocked out of this tournament. We saw Liquid take them pretty damn close. And otherwise, it's been, I don't want to call it easy street for Liquid. That would be disingenuous at this point in the tournament. But, you know, they ran through the group with ease. Fnatic may have, you know, faced them pretty fiercely on Dust 2, but otherwise was silent in that series. Liquid just need to get the taste of blood back in their mouth. Yeah, but right now, it's heroic oh. taking all these liberties, right? Only getting more confident as the game goes on. Cadian still hanging around in middle. Doesn't want to fall, so he will eventually have to concede this, but it's all well and good. Liquid are having to take a lot of time here. You're fighting on other ends of the map as well. Tess says that nade would secure the kill you like to think, but instead, Grim's going to trade out, or sorry, swing out and grab it. Liquid. Ooh, oh. they're finally coming through with something here. Four on two. Grimothy finally dealt with down in the connector. You really need to win this one. Uh -oh. Liquid have not been in any of these man advantage scenarios and refresh. Even though he's dealt with in con, there's still Cadian waiting on B. And I said uh -oh. about these AWPers, good clutch players. Well, Cadian fits that bill. He hears the footsteps. He knows they're wrapping him at Monster. He's already here. The spacing is everything right now for Liquid. They swing oh. it. And Stewie baits the shot out, locks in the round, and Liquid finally get their first on the board in round number eight. Well, oh, that first peak is just enough of a jiggle to force this shot as well. He even saw the shadow coming, but that lets him down, I guess. Liquid don't full swing like he hoped. He heard them running the entire way. Not quite enough for a round. You were scared there for a second. Heroic have finally put to their knees for a moment. Plenty more rounds ahead of us. Double AWP even coming out now for Heroic as they are floating on a cloud. They've got all the money in the world. This is where it's going to start to drip dry though. If we can find a follow-up round, they will break Heroic. That's when these T-sides start. That's all you want on the T-side of Overpass. Get these orbs out of your opponent's hands. Get, get these uh, rifles away. And then the anti-ecos are just so much easier. Liquid looking to build into the game late. Oh, Grim though. Got to be careful. Got a double in con last time. This round, he's dinked through. Heroic blew off the door immediately. Many CT teams do that, not only for the information, but the, the fear of the spam as well. It also means if Liquid are clearing con and they don't have water, be sure control, they've got to worry about their backs. Yeah, they've also got to be worried about the boost as well. It just opens so up much. so many possibilities yeah. for CTs. Cadian with this sort missed shot in the long toilets and dealt with it the second time around. Stewie creating this space over towards A. That's a nice flash peek for Refresh. He at least gets the info. But Fallen was here. And is he going to look to swing Whoa. this? Though? Second flash goes out and over, and it's shushed to set him up for that kill. Four on four, and it grinds to a bit of a halt now. Liquid are looking for a way out. Grim down and connector. He's either going to give them that leverage or he could be the kill that tips the scales to Heroic. He's just making sure that he's not being flanked and he's got misinformation. Tess is tucked in from B short. He knows now he has a timing to go and attack this backline. And the more utility he hears go over, the more info the Liquid are committing. Tess has the round in the palm of his hand. Yeah. And now there's also this three man stack in the A bomb site. You're getting four from the back. Oh. From front no and time. it's looking to get locked in time runs out for team liquid stewie just a bit of time to try and recover this site kill but ends up dying it's fine you know ace 
It's all five for refresh, mate. I didn't even notice with the, with the flank coming yeah, in. I you thought, th you thought, I thought more was going to go the way of Tessa's. <laughs> Sick round from refresh. Yeah, like, like everyone supporting. The orbs are taking the attention away. Tessa's is shooting players in the back for 99. And this, this is where refresh just lines them up, man. Oh my goodness, you'd think you'd be getting cleared in that corner, Mate, traded it, at least. It's but. so heartbreaking, because uh, as you correctly pointed out, you know, that's all coming off the back of uh, Tessa's downing con and having that info, like, boys, just stay up on A, I can hear them, they're, they're not coming to me, they're not going down B, they don't have the time. Wow, what an ace refresh on one right now, 15 and 3. Lights out performance, and it's, it's exactly what Heroic needed here in the first map. Liquid's pick is going against them right now. In that Entropic game, Liquid managed on with a sixth round half. It was their CT side where they really looked lights out going 10-3 over. And so that's the problem. You know, six rounds versus Entropic. Sure, good overpass team. Heroic, a team of a different caliber. You need some breathing room to set yourself up for that defense comeback. Cadian flashed off this time around. There's been some missed orb shots, but this time didn't even get to see his opponent. That's the same. Flick goes nowhere. Nate to the truck does nothing, and Heroic have had to concede the site. They're even hunting down this long player. Tessas doesn't know where to look. That's a gun for the post plant and a man up. Many a team would save here. Your money's on the line. Oh no! Oh no! Missed flash from Cadian, but there's refresh giving you the open and enticing you back in for this retake. Perhaps you've still kept it even. You've kept it in this three-on-three, three, and the one gun is now removed from Team Liquid. It's going to be an attempt at the last second defuse. Smoke on the bomb. Refresh is low, and this could be a money-ruining round. Team Liquid. They find it with Deagles. They find it with the A play. Heroic now back in the doldrums, might just have to force up here. That loss bonus not established yet. Yeah, I mean, that I wouldn't have been surprised if after that miss, Flash comes in for Cadian, and they just call it. They go, yeah, screw it, guys, we don't have a chance. I mean, it came close, right? Anyway, the smoke bomb, three on three, no guns, Liquid just playing safe in toilets, but that was enough to, to keep them in it. Very scary round with a bit of confusion on all sides, right? You would love Cadian to soften up the herd by taking a kill with the orb before Liquid took A, and then Tessa's on long, was scared of the toilet while they were chasing him down, couldn't hear what was going on. Yeah, thus far, a lot of these missed Cadian orb shots have felt inconsequential because Heroic still win the round anyway, right? Yeah. But that one there was one where he has like three, four opportunities to remove a player and every one of them falls short. This could Ooh. get awkward. Flash into the connector for refresh, but he doesn't want to commit on the back of it. That decision will keep him alive. Oh, Tess says now armed with the AWP. They want this trade. They want to deal with him. He's blinded Elise and tags him down low. They're trying no to win a D ground back in response, but Elise wants no part in it. Are they ready for Cadian up close? They dealt with Shush on the backstab, and now Cadian on this swing also falls at the hands of Grim. Team Liquid on their way to a third, and only refresh stands between them and that goal. Man, Liquid, very impressive that they've kept this round so clean so far, right? Think about the, the fights that have come through that, that pop flash into Connector, fully blinded one of the Liquid players, and there was still no activation for Heroic. The, the push-up in mid from was a Tessus with a Deagle, taking one, tagging a Liege. He fully blinded him with that bait flash that he picked off of as well. And then Cadian aiming for body shots as Grim comes out con. He gets nothing from. It. So some very close engagements that Liquid only just get out ahead of. They keep four alive. Very important in trying to pull this comeback, get an 8-7 and keep Heroic on their, you know, low economy. That will be apparent now for at least one more round. So you're not worried yet if you're heroic, but you can feel Liquid warming in. No, and I, I think, you know, the key, key point to focus in on will be that, like, someone like Elise is starting to get warmed up now, right? I'm still waiting for us to get a big fallen round. I, I'm waiting for this guy to get switched on. Yeah. Not really I had think, the AWP a lot. Well, yeah, right? And, and on top of that, oh, look, you got this little B-Rush. Shut down. Nathalie's looking, uh, looking prime today. But I think, you know, the fact that Kadian has been struggling to begin this one as well, maybe... Uh, makes it more forgivable that yeah. Fallen hasn't had a rip-roaring start, but we will still need that activation if Team Liquid are to win this, also, right? Also, T-side overpass, like, you're, you're going to have trouble in finding opening kills unless you're getting that, that early mid-fight versus Cadian, which we've not seen Fallen take with an orb. Like, Heroic is so measured in how they give you fights in this CT side. They're always flashing plays. They're always double-facing. And if they're not doing that, they're giving everything up and playing so powerful.
passive in some of these setups, right? Where they just beg you to commit and run your execute, and that's when these crossfires come in. So, yeah, Heroic on a team that are going to give you these, like, players caught out in the open in the middle of long a tree, or a player, you know, obviously Kadian got caught once by that MAC-10 Russia Grim, but other than that, we've not really seen, you know, Heroic dying alone. They've always had setups to counter that if they're not bringing the fight to you. Think about the amount of uh, amount of aggressive mid pushes they've already done in the CT half. So yeah, no surprise that Fallen's had a slower start, but now that he's got the AWP, he definitely needs to make it worth its while. Yeah, the decision for Kadian to throw money in. Out of spawn. So Heroic, they are buying here, and they've had a quick tack. They've got a plan behind it. Let's see. Yeah, we got Fallen working mid with the orb. Well, Ooh. rum boost to send Shush to the other side of Monster without anyone seeing it. Now, you oh, completely perfect. discount this position because it wasn't smoked. It was only mollied, and you were holding for that cross. They never knew that Shush got there. You know, these are the prime rounds to bring in trickery like that, right? To really mix things up. I figured you'd see something like that. I, I wasn't expecting a run boost. I was more expecting just a regular boost, like to try and take short away or something. But hell, you know, any little gimmick you can to turn the round to your advantage is brilliant for Heroic. The fact that that's a two for none is huge. Yeah, Monster has not been good to Liquid in this game, right? Like, it really has uh, has been somewhere they need to stay away from for the remainder of the half. I think they know that as well. The only round they've won out of it was that uh, that 2v1 against Kadian. And that was a reset anyway, off of A. So, here we go. Liquid now three on five. They have to give this uh, a try. They've got the money for it. Cleaning out toilets with utility. They don't know there's no warp in as well. You've always got to be aware of the possibility that someone has saved enough. Can't keep track of the finances. Oh, God. Grim, he doesn't know there's a long player. Tessus gets out of dodge, just smokes down, and a player is drawing them in from the truck, from the dumpster. Grim just turns on a dive and takes out Tessus. What a read. Maybe a call, maybe a footstep heard. 15 seconds as the plant comes in. Kadian trying to do something about it. It's up above the smoke, and he's all fallen off. Grim should be able to trade this. Fallen's getting hounded down, and Naf tries to come in to save the day. All the kills for Heroic. It's Fallen's time to shine, and he can't do it. Trapped on the bomb site with a flank as well coming in. There was nowhere to go. No, you know, Kadian only gets one kill out of it, but, but he does a hell of a lot in getting to that dumpster position and working around the missed smoke, you know? Like, he, he just throws a big degree of chaos into the mix, right? And as you're trying to help your team out by peaking Kadian, you're actually exposing yourself to the angles that the rest of his team are holding. This was a really nice round out of Heroic from everything, you know, from that run boost in the beginning to get the double opener. Yeah. Kadia making this push happen. And look how much, like, duress and stress this put the T's under, you know? A uh, guy in toilets tries to swing to help out. Well, that makes you, you know, lose your post plant player. Suddenly fallen as to 1v4 from the middle of the bomb site. Like, hey, good luck, mate. I didn't think anything, you know, even if he was having an incredible game yeah. today, that would have been undoable. Okay, now Kadian's starting to throw himself into the void. He's got the orb. They smoked the volley, he knew, they knew he could be, well, he knew they could be out mid, rather. So he's aware of playground. But he won't stay there forever. The flash, not at all pushing him back into the toilet. He waits for this contact fight. Any more utility, doesn't look like it. They could line up, but KD just takes down Fallen and gets out with only a graze. SS is still in connector. Oh, damn. And he's hit this perfect timing. Now, he should get traded from Rotom Khan, but it comes in once he's dealt with both the mid players. And now, at this point, right, the guys on A are feeling pretty, pretty assured in these peaks down towards connector. They're looking to oh. fight for it, and Kadian strips Naf from the action. It's all left on to Grim. One on four, Kadian scoped up at short refresh on the toilets. And even though he deals with the first, it's that second man available to trade at the drop of a hat. Heroic are now up 10-4 and a chance to dominate this first half of play. Uh, a call might have come through at the end and not to save the orb because refresh swap back onto the AK. And you do that when you have a lot of money and it is last round of the half, but you actually can't buy the orb. You, it's not available. So, you know, they didn't 
maybe do the maths before run boost for, uh, across monster as well. Heroic have had a lot, a lot of ideas, and that's something we've always credited them with. On a top for short to stop that quick take. The only thing Heroic are taking is mid. Yeah, they've just been so willing to fight you every step of the way. And this round is no exception. Look at Tessas over here in middle. He might hit this timing to Elise. Now you're hoping that Fallen can trade this out. You're hoping he can at least secure you this mid kill. And while that's happened, Stewie over here to, in the connector spams out a kill on the short side. So back into a three on three. And with Heroic stacked up over on A, well, they spot this bomb going long. How long do they hold this boost oh, for? No. Kadian's gotten down now and is swinging it wide, but what? he still drops the bomb. That is info now for Heroic, and it might spur Fallen to take this bomb out of there. They've just seen it crossing to long. Instead, Naf's coming up to him, but I wonder if they are. Yeah, I was going to say, I thought they would go back to B, right? You've just seen the bomb at long. But look who's here. Oh, this is dangerous. You're up on your own and you're out on an island. Naf is ready for the smoke fade. Shush gone at the B site now open for the taking and to retake for Stown. He's not had a quiet game though. He's not been one to sleep on. Smoke, kit, flash, and they're plotting for him as well. They've got to. They don't know about that heaven position. Molly fades and in Stown moves silent. As Fallen gets even more aggressive. Stown knows he's got one on either side at this point. But which can he fight first? No one's giving him anything. Fallen stuck here. Graffiti and Nath closes the half with five. Right. You know, Liquid were waiting for this. They're, they're just happy they've got enough that they can, you know, sit back and still have some gun rounds on this CT side, right? This is where they should be unleashing everything they've got. Otherwise, it's Heroic stealing their map pick and setting us up for what could be a 2-0. and o. Fast out long for Heroic. No one there to greet them. Heavy connector side stack for Liquid means they miss all these timings. In terms of calling a pistol, you couldn't have called a better one than this. Kadian is at least going to keep the attention of the comp players in mid, and that is confirmation for Heroic that they've got space to work with. Up they go, seeing the barrel of Grimm's USP. But that's not enough to tempt them in. They're just going to walk right by. Take that A site. There's been a rotate. Only Naf there, though. Fallen tasked alone at that B bomb site with. His smoke. Stown gonna hunt this kill. He knows he's still close and he's got Grim by surprise. Second man. Stown wasn't ready and Stewie trades that. You still don't know about Allege, the third in connector. And so Liquid decide to re-aggress. Kadian's holding for this Ugh. exact play. Yeah. Blimey. Yeah, Kadian, this is gross, mate. Oh, Stewie's now deleted. On the upside, it wasn't a liege that was just spotted. This might give you a false sense of security when it comes to connector. And if you're gonna try and rotate down here, there's a third man waiting They're in the wings. Holding. Right now, refresh is cooling that the B bomb site looks oh, clear. And a liege baited out by a decoy there. Can't blame him. $50, ladies and gents, and that's what gets a liege killed. Just fallen in that fly, two on four. And this B bomb site overran by Heroic. Fallen and Naf will tap out one. Gonna give this a go, but Refresh has sent Naf back to the Shadow Realm and Fallen should be next to follow. They swing him all together and he tries his damnedest, but there's nothing you can do when you're getting triple peak like that. I mean, it's a perfect call for Heroic to get up long when Liquid have that setup. Like, you can call that luck if you want. Like, there's no reason to know that Liquid would triple con, uh, even though we've seen them before. Uh, but the, the crazy thing is, is, you know, Refresh walked out B in that mid round as well. Heroic were just probing bomb sites. They were just waiting for Liquid to get uncomfortable knowing they wouldn't sit around forever. And especially considering Liquid didn't have A info forever, that's even more pressure. That's that's why Stewie goes up the ladder. That's you know, why we see rotates off of B. So I also believe that that was like a bit of a read out of Heroic because Refresh was the guy to walk into B. He was also the dude with all the utility. Like that's a, that's a big gamble to take when you're like the utility guy of the team, right? Yeah. If you die, you lose it all. Oh my goodness, hang on a second. These Deagles over in mid, and Stewie's oh scout have found three in the blink of an eye. Okay. It wasn't meant to go like this. Heroic were at least hoping to trade these kills out, but they've been left with nothing. Yeah, AKs get salvaged here, scavenged off of bodies, but Liquid made the right call just to back up as far as they can, put distance between themselves and the rest of Heroic. Play their bomb sites, wait for the commit. Heroic are cycling guns out the map. Still arming your opponents with two AKs if they manage to convert the round. And all eyes are on Liquid right now. 
Should be easy, right? Stewie's going to get that info. Jumping on the dice. Ooh, didn't see them that time around. This one will do it. There's the spot. Stewie now knows they're getting close. Yeah, he's called for the rotations. And so this a bomb site is padded out. Stewie's scout oh. is not to be laughed at. And mate, they managed to lock it in. These two mid players, Stewie and Ali, he's doing it all. Find Liquid a sixth and steal a round away from Heroic. Insane shots, though. Check this one. Not much to work with, but just enough to find the kill. And Liquid, they keep it flawless, man. That's, uh, yeah, we say it's better than winning a pistol round, and that certainly is true, especially in this case. Getting AKs for free, getting away with that. Elise is now taking names. Oh, he might get caught, but he checks close. It's exactly what caught Kadian out the first time around. That Molly's down, but a player's through it. Elise won't fall for the same play. The rest of Heroic just digs and P250s heading out into B with it. Heaven smoke lined up from Cadian and a flash to follow. All right, they're going to look to employ the boost, but no one is open to this. Only guy who could stray into the crosshair would be someone like Grim, but even then, I don't think he's going to leave this position. He's got no reason to. It's heroic feeling the pressure right now. Cadian's going to try and set up the boys with a bit of utility. He's got one flash to try and get them up short and into this site. It's just a waiting game for now. Yeah, the minimal info you've just gotten is no one is playing on, you know, default or towards barrels. So you, you know certain positions are clear, you know what to focus on, but this line of liquid players is going to be deathly. Yeah, the flash is good. It gets one off the angle, but Stewie back in CT was anti the whole time. And to him and Grim, turn it on, get that seventh on the board, send Heroic back to pistols now, and this gap is getting closed up by Team Liquid. Also, guys like Elise back begins if it was ever going to happen. I think it's going to be good for the morale as well that Stewie's having such a good game, right? Like, whenever we watch these Elise POVs, you always hear that Stewie is an incredibly vocal player. And I imagine that's only going to become more apparent the, the more comfortable he feels. Nafly, one in some of these eeks, baby, and he's got three of them. Nice. Criminal E steal the last two away, but that's fine. Eight on the board for Team Liquid. The gap getting closed. This first rifle round that we're going to see out of Heroic is also going to carry some limitations as well. So Liquid are now in this spot where they could come back into this on their CT side after going 10-5 down. Yeah, they got the reassurance of the money as well, right? A bit of that to, you know, help out if they lose first gun round. But Heroic, they, you know, much uh, much akin to that first half. You give Liquid a few rounds in a row, and Heroic, they've been working on their master plan all along throughout these anti-ecos. What have they got to show us in this gun round? Some nades for the B-boost. No one there. Naf is passive enough that it won't kill him. Refresh wants to go through Monster yet again. He's waiting in the fade right now as his teammates span the smoke. We're never going to expect this. And uh, Grim is caught off, but no kill. Refresh cuts his losses. He did win the damage fight at least. Grim's going to change position wisely so. There's the Molotov that was inevitable. Grim will dodge death for now. Rock is still sat. Oh, okay. Not, not where you wanted that to go, I can assure you. That was either four Monster or one of the deeper ones towards barrels, but not those barrels, boy. Elise still has it for A, but it's very passive on the top side. Tessis is only now getting out mid at the minute mark, and he's not got any util to sell this one either, so it's clear as day that this is a B execute to Liquid. A little jig jiggle from Stewie almost ruins everything. Oh, hang on a moment, Elise. This, uh, he doesn't know it, but this fight could influence the outcome of the entire round. If he dies on A, then they might have been able to move in. But luckily enough, he stands his ground. He secured this A bomb site now, and you're able to maintain this stack over on B with more bullets raining in. It becomes all too clear where Heroic were hoping to end up now. 20 seconds left, and they've made no progress into this B bomb site. Canadian lining up a heaven smoke to try and get them in, but they've still got to fight all three in the site. And here they are, falling like flies. It's Team Liquid up onto nine. Kind of health, man.
Yeah, that's that first round effect as well. Heroic just don't have the util to be running like enough uh, enough fakes there. Elige gets his kill. Like you said, this was everything. If he dies, you know, Fallen already rotated up off of Elige's kill, just in case there were more. Elige pretty quickly confirms. All right, it's fully clear. And, and this is the problem when you have, you know, only a smoke and a flash each into your first gun round for Heroic. You can't sell anything. You can't fake anything. So 11 to 9. And it's liquid time. Heroic only have pistols here. Once again, waiting for that next full rifle. Liquid really are picking up the pace, though. This was a one-sided game, no longer. Spam is very close. Heroic duck under. They're doing limbo. Oh, damage done. Stewie's got a lot about to face him. And, oh, a lot of damage in return. Now, they will trade that out, right? They do deal with Stewie, and they blow the gun... Kit. Did they get it out? ...further away. Okay, that's... Wasn't yeah. the intention. It was meant to come over, but luckily enough, Stown's got long old arms. I don't know how he was able to grab that without dying, but he has. Built different. And so they will just try trickle into B. But once again, you know, Elise has been very proactive over on this A bomb site. He's already secured you the info that it isn't an A play. And so all three of the other Liquid players are down in B and ready to hold the line. 10 to 11. Uh, and this is a very, very, you know, fresh looking Liquid, like a completely different team since coming onto this CT side. The reads have looked better. They're feeling ahead of Heroic in these rounds. We still haven't really had that, like, proper full bore Heroic yet. I think yeah. this round coming is going to be the real test where we can gauge just how excited we can get but critically you know these guys with quiet starts fallen it was probably feeling like he was getting outmaneuvered at every single turn they're starting to find themselves a little bit more now yeah fallen just playing rotate as well on this map so he's been offering a lot of utility from heaven he's been the guy you know running back up onto the a site when, when heroka trying to fake it out so oh dear Elise gets caught with the door off that doesn't do him any favors he's staring at these short control they don't have and stewie grabs it back Taking out Shush with the second AWP. Still got Fallen in those toilets waiting to wield his. Kadian is going to get uh, run boost his teammate out long. Fallen getting there in time. And he doesn't know that both players are out in position. Almost a third now. Stown flashing them up. Fallen escaping with a smoking toilet. And he should be able to get back to the bomb site. He's scared of close, but no need to be. Naf is going to come in to confirm that fact. And Grim, this is a massive play. Something Heroic did a little bit on their CT side. He just cleaned out the entire B bomb site. Now the rotates come up. Now Liquid are insured. Once again, this info game has come up in favor of Liquid. Yeah, you got to credit them for their knowledge of when and where to try and take these pushes. Here come the A utility from Heroic. Stewie, they mollied you here, mate. Jeez, all right. And now they deal with him. All the kills found for Tessas and Refresh on the entries. And Grim is too far away to really make a difference. Coming up through Con, he might just die to the incumbent Refresh. Now they know he's here. They've got no reason to peek this. They've got no reason to give him a chance. Grim is out of there, and Heroic, in spite of walking into the stack, they still manage to find the round with minimal casualties when the guns come out. That's insane that Heroic get away with that one, right? Insane. Uh, great entries out of Tassas as well. Let's check these again. Stewie barely got a, a chance to see his opponents out long. Molly, man, he could only play one position. And, and that's good awareness from Heroic as well. They knew that Liquid had all the short control. Fallen had already cleared out toilets, so it was always going to be a long play. And Liquid are playing for that, right? Stewie's behind Dyer open to short. Heroic are aware of that possibility. Would have been easy to get caught into expecting, you know, bank and dumpster and truck positions, but they clean out everyone swinging them from dice. Yeah, it, that, that, that Molotov's great for a number of reasons, right? Because it leaves Stewie with two choices. Either he smokes it and then has to keep playing behind dice, at which point you go, oh, he's dice. He smoked the Molotov. Yeah. Or he's got to hop out of there and be open to the long peak, right? So you either use it as the info play, the info Molotov, or it forces him into your crosshairs yeah. if that utility was lacking. So so, so I don't think we're going to have Fallen throwing himself into those fights, but we've already seen Stewie do so. B rush. Yeah, here's all this utility running over Team Liquid. They've got to hold on. Grim, what close. Grim mows out. He's good for the double. Switching out to the Deeg and all of them for Grim. He's sending them out of B. The site belongs to him. He's not going to let go of it. Kadian is left running away from his nightmares. Jeez. Put that one in the collection, CSGO. Jeez, look at this. It's all gone wrong. 
and it's all one man to do it. Oh, he was running on that first kill. Full W spray, just trying to get into position, trying to cross Monster. Oh, and he's made them cross in Monster. That is not what Heroic wanted. A full buy with the orb, everything to play with. Cadian sets them out B, and they don't even make it through the tube. Woo. I almost wonder if, like, the reason why you do that is finally you put a stop to, like, these aggressive pushes from Elise over on A. You know you've maybe forced a bit of respect out of Team Liquid over at the upper site. You want to hit them with a disrespect B play while you know the A site players are going to be playing, you know, back towards toilets, back towards long, or at least that's what you're anticipating. And, yeah, mate, you can't disrespect a guy like Grim. He will make you have a very bad time. Also, nothing's really worked, right? Like that one round on A worked for Heroic, but they also they also knew. Oh, okay. They also knew that Liquid had the infos just as much, right? They don't know how they got it. It was Grim with the monster push in the previous round, but uh, Heroic walked into a four-man stack, so that's as obvious as it gets that you're being red. And so Heroic wanting to switch it up completely. That's one way to do it, but not the result they wanted. Cadian just trying to take guns with him. Full and not offering that up, just playing safe on the site. It's 11 rounds to Liquid. Heroic take their first since the pistol, and it's immediately responded by Grim. Yeah, look at this, mate. Look at it, just a murder. Out to the Deagle as well, was ready for not one, but the double push through. Really nice round out of Grim. And I almost wonder now, right, like, is that going to force a bit of respect out of Heroic down towards me? I can't imagine they're going to be keen to repeat another one of these fast little monster pushes. And so, yeah, it's back to middle. Back to what was working, I guess you would say. What worked once. Yeah. Maybe it works again. Yeah, now just default, right? 3-1-1. It's more of a standard start to a round for Heroic. They're, they're playing slow. They're letting Liquid get aggressive, get ahead of themselves. We know that, you know, uh, li yeah, Liquid are a team that very driven forward by their emotions. Can be a good thing, can also be a bad thing. Heroic are hoping they give them early fights. Liquid won't make that mistake. Cool heads right now. Ice on the back of the neck. Double short setup, even a third rotate. You've brought Naf up, but he's patrolling between the two bomb sites. And Heroic are doing the same, dropping back into lower eventually. But they've got little info, man. They're still scared of places like Connector. They don't know if their entire info has just been grabbed by running through T-Spawn. These are questions that Heroic have, making them doubt themselves. Still in short is Tessez. And so when you run this exec, if you get a kill or two and you want to leave, you can. You can go back up Con and you can try and regroup with Tessez for that A site. Liquid, backward Grim in Monster. And he's waiting for that smoke walk. He wants it. Oh, Tessas is now trying to cross over in middle as this B hit comes in. Flash is good, but Grim is better. And oh. Stewie swinging out will help remove another. That was the bomb tossed into Monster. And the round probably thrown away with it. Cadian's holding for a repeat that will never arrive. They've got no reason to give this AWP a kill. They might try and hunt it at the end of the round. Because this one is a Team Liquid round all the way. 12-12. It's a tie game. And considering this was 11-5 to Heroic at one point in time, it really does give some props to way of Liquid for making yeah. this a winnable game in regulation. It's insane. It's so impressive. And, and I don't think it's what Heroic expected as well, right? Just the fact that Tessis is coming in with a toilet lurk at 20 seconds and not even making contact. Like, you're expecting more aggressive rounds out of Liquid. You're expecting more information to be getting gained. It's not. Liquid are just anchoring down tremendously well. Grim is, really. And, you know, Tessas has given nothing on that A-Luck as well. He didn't have any util. It was akin to the first rifle round where Heroic did the same thing with no grenades, and it went about the same. Stown spam through the wall. Stewie, any aggression here will get punished. We've got an AWP on his angle. And even if he gets this kill, Stown should trade Stewie. Oh, missed shot. Bounds out just about. Refresh doesn't get it. No one does. But Stewie very fortunate in that escape.
It's unreal to me that Liquid are making this happen all the while. Like two of the normal prerequisites to a Liquid victory are pretty quiet, all things yeah. considered. This upper hold of Elysian Fallen still really yet to be involved <laughs> in a lot of this, right? They haven't really had many opportunities. Elysian's been good at getting info on these info plays over towards middle, but that's really been his whole plan so far. And that's what I was talking about earlier. When I said we've seen games out of Liquid where, you know, we've not had Elysian be that, that top man and still they've done well. It's often been with Fallen, so it's surprising to not see him get much done either. Yep. Grim just confirmed this is a fake, right? They just mollied into B. They set up with a flash and short. You've still got three down lower, but Fallen, this is your time to shine on the A site. Yeah, he, he really needs to hold his own here. The flash oh, goes over fire. and it gets the better Woo! of a double monster hold. This is quickly getting out of hand. Fallen has now left the A bomb site as the push is coming in. He's going to realize the error of his ways. He comes back up, but if he doesn't get anything, this might be a save. There's one from Fallen and it's a three on three retake. What do they want to do? They're going to boost up, try to clear these close angles, but they will miss timings. Oh, oh no, Kadian goes back into the site after already getting away. And that has now given Liquid a reason to believe in this retake. Shush set up to play around the bombs down. He's just here to try and take as many to the grave with him as he can. Oh. And it might be the double. Oh, they give him a jump peak. They give him another chance. He's backed up. He's flashing over. He's keeping them off the angle. Oh. Finally dealt with. And now just Shush left to beat. This whole round was centered around Shush being the guy to close. But he can't do the damage. Going to the front side of toilet, but they're on the bomb. They're sticking it. And the defuse is in for Liquid. Wow. All the kills, none of the glory. That one hurts. It's down to the finest margin. The closest conundrum. No ammo on Stown at long as well. A few more seconds for him could have been enough. That one's going to hurt for Heroic. One of these fake plays finally succeeds as well. Refresh started 5 on 3. He doubled up down on that lower side. It's finally a look that actually has impact as well. Shush up in toilets has been underwhelming. Refresh at least pops off, but it means absolutely nothing. Those kills won't even invigorate you. Liquid have money for days. And I tell you what, Elysian Fallen, they, they get three kills that matter so much in the context of that round. Fallen gets you the three on three that entices you back in. Oh, baby. And now he's going on to open up rounds. If we can get a little more of this out of Fallen, Liquid might be right where they want to find themselves. Ooh. Shush down here and Khan is dueling with Elise. And now he's got reinforcements. Elise See is out of there. Bye. Perfect timing. Look at Tessa. He's just clearing it from top, wondering where the hell he's gone. Another benefit of nading the door as well. Elise just jumps backwards through the smoke. No fear, no problem. And it's also forced more utility out of Heroic. This has often been the problem for them. Two flashes, one smoke remain, and we've got a minute yet left to play. Heroic heading B-wood. Kadian's going to grab that bomb at long. He's got a long reset time, and Dewey jumps up, but he can't finish the job. Refresh lives to tell the tale, and he really has been the hero of this game across both teams. But obviously for Heroic, 26 and 16, top of the server right now. Started that CT side nuclear on the A site as well, even had an ace. But none of this has held back Liquid before. Why would it start now? Yeah, I mean, they've been up against it throughout pretty much the entirety of this map, right? Only haven't recently gotten into the lead, so I can't imagine they're looking to part ways with it just yet. Grim and Elise, they hold down this first two-man push in. Grim Ooh. will finally get cleared out by Shush. Elise swinging, reclaims that frag, and it's left to Kadian in the one-on-three. They don't want to give him room. They don't want to give him respect. They're pushing him down. This is oh, typical dear. of Liquid, and Naf is there to close it. Spams him out as well. That's the thing, man. When you're in these clutches, guys like Kadian often get given a good deal of respect to like set themselves up in a clutch. Not from Liquid. If we've seen anything from them that's been consistent throughout the groups, throughout the playoffs, is that the moment they get you into a clutch, mate, everyone will just run at you and try to steal those fights, try to just overwhelm you. Unbelievable. And this is happening. This isn't just a pipe dream anymore. This isn't just everyone on Liquid. Stewie is still the guy that catches probably the most flack, I would say. Yeah. And uh, it's games like this that are that reminder that when crunch time hits, when you need him to step up, he can do it. He's also a very vocal player. I do implore people to watch those Elige POV demos just so you can hear how much common, how much communicate, and how much he, he pumps this squad up and directs the flow of it. We've been seeing it on the cams as well. Think about, like, you know, the, the Stewie cam where he's been getting loud and shouting about it. Stewie now, he's got to deal with a boost, and he's one step ahead. 
They're up above, but they've yet to peek with it. Maybe waiting for utility to go in first. We see more teams try and sell fakes and hit Molly's in before. The VP Molly's down. Stout takes a fight. Stewie decimates him. Double dink. That one's got to hurt. You didn't even see your opponent. Here come a rug. They're going to commit through the smoke. Massive entry needed for refresh, but it's traded. And Stewie's only good for a second. Heroic reset. They cut their losses. They get out. And they're three on three. World is theirs. They can go wherever they want. Yeah, Liquid having clearly, you know, done their research in spades there. They see that Molly go over. It's something Heroic love to do to try and force a reposition out of Monster into the boost. The moment they see that Telltale Molotov, that's when Stewie's up on the boost angle. It's still the B commitment. Naf and Elise have got to hold the line. They hear the flashes, they hear the footsteps. There's the swing, and Elise knocks them both out. Only Shush left to beat. He's made it close, Whoa. but Elise is going to lock in 15 for Team Liquid. Ooh. It's like you can hear us. Ever since we've been saying this guy's been a little bit quiet, but he still had an impact in a myriad of ways. He's had multi kill rounds coming out of every single CT side. And there, that's the info for Elise. He hears both. Both those flashes get thrown from the short side and he calls it over to his teammate at pillar. Both players are dodging flashbangs. The utility is essentially useless for Heroic. It's, it's uh, you know, it's a warning for Liquid to look away and then they're ready for the gunfights immediately after. Barely breaking a sweat. Liquid need one more. And, you know, I mean, Heroic are already coming into this. God knows where their mental states are. If a comeback of this magnitude comes in in map one, oh, it does beg the question, how do you recover that? Even with your map pick waiting around the corner in Nuke, we know Liquid can tango there. Yeah, especially considering the first seven rounds, it felt like the heroic of group stage, right? It felt like the, the full faith, full confidence in the system, pushing through smokes in your face, never giving you a moment to breathe. The exact team that went 5-0 in their group, the only team that could other than OG and back in Group B. Stewie's on the A side for a change. Man down, all liquid. They've read it once again. This is a gamble. This isn't based off info. Grim's just watching out at B. He's been stellar on his own. Fallen's picked up. Shush deep on long. And Heroic, they've got to commit. Yeah, into this stack. Now, last time they walked into this stack, they were able to break it apart with ease. It was Refresh Ooh. doing the bulk of the heavy lifting. You found Fallen, but are you ready for two more? They aren't considering that, but long! Oh. And he's going to hold on to the round. Just Cadian, 22 points of health. The difference between Team Liquid taking this map or it raging on Heroic has either got to come in clutch with Cadian or Liquid go 1-0 up in the quarterfinal. Cadian does not know where Grim is. He's never been seen, and Naf has fallen off to play long passive. He won't give you this fight. You've got to peek it wide. Oh. And